All right, doing another video. Uh, let's see, do I need to talk about I'm not sure if I get one. All right, I'm sure people are going to tell me I don't know shit about risk, which, you know, fair enough. I've been watching it for decades, but honestly, if I don't play anything, no. Except games, you know, I play wrestling games, I play RPGs. <sighs> I played the good old wrestling RPG things, you know, like the Ethan and shit like that. If you ever play money to pay for anything, I feel sorry for you because I never paid a damn dime and I never will because that's fucking stupid to me. But you do you. I won't go into who I used to play as characters and whatnot because I didn't do that. But anyway, there is a subject matter that I feel like covering today. It, it's a really old subject matter, but I've heard it quite a few times discussed on different podcasts lately. And I'm like, you know, I have thoughts on that. So of course, the finger poke of doom. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, that was fucking stupid. Okay, it's been discussed by people who are probably more knowledgeable than me. That the problem was with Goldberg and him losing was to have him lose with the taser. And that was the big problem. We need to change that to a power bar. Beat him for real in the middle of the ring. And that wasn't the problem. It wasn't the taser. The taser's not a problem. Do you know how people have been beat over the years in wrestling? Smoke in the face. A fucking fireball. Yes, someone magically created a fireball. Beat. The loaded boot. I'll explain this to you. A wrestler has a boot and they stomp it and that knocks something in the front of the boot and they kick them with the boot. Then they have the donut spot. Where you sit with, you know, a foreign object you have in your belt, you pull, you hit them. You hide it behind you and somewhere else, I don't have it. They pull it from there. By the way, there's nothing in their hand. They hit them again somehow when the ref's not looking to piss off the crowd. And then at some point they put it in their mouth and the wrestler hits them with something. They swallow it. Yeah, it, it, you know. It worked for its time. It was Memphis. I've, I've never seen the donut spot before because I... Grew up in the NWA area, you know, fucking, like, WCCW, Texas, like, Devon Erickson shit, and, of course, Crockett Promotions, because, yeah, I knew who fucking, you know, Ric Flair was. I didn't know he knew it to other places at the time, because I, I didn't know what the, I thought that was the NWA. There's the NWA. There's fucking Vince. Because, yeah, when I first watched, the first thing I watched was, of course, Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling, and when I saw Mr. T and Hogan show up on Saturday Night Live, and then I started watching wrestling, I thought Hogan was supposed to be a surfer because he called everybody dude. Nobody said dude back then. It was the 80s. Dude was not a thing anymore. It was man. Bruh. Bro. Nobody fucking said dude. He had the little yellow shorts and shit, so I, I thought he was supposed to be a surfer. Long-haired surfer did. I didn't fucking know. Anyway. I, mean, I started like holding later. I didn't at the time. At the time, I was like an Orange fan. Orange Anderson was my favorite wrestler as a child. Yeah, but that's not where we're here. Okay. So again, there have been all sorts of ridiculous fucking shit. The foot on the rope gimmick. How are you getting more leverage by putting your feet on the ropes? You know, pushing your your feet on the ground to pin somebody to where they can't move. A little more hard to get out of than your feet on some ropes. You've, you've got no balance, really. You've got your upper body and you're at a, a disadvantage, really. It just looks like you're cheating, so the crowd gets all mad. That's the whole point of it, though. See, there has been some silly shit for people to win, and nobody... Better than I. Nothing. No one cared. So, the problem was never that. The problem was always the goddamn finger poke of doom. Don't believe me? What did Vince make fun of not too long after that on his show? He had Kane come out. I think he had the world champion. He may have had the, the... No, I think it, no, I think it was the IC championship. Or something. Anyway, he had a belt. And they were going to put it on Triple H or, or The Rock. Somebody. Anyway. So Vince comes out. Come on, we're going to do that. Finger poke with him. Crap. 
Kane says no. And so he's thrown out of the other thing, and then they have an actual match. Why? Because they were making fun of the finger poke of doom. Vince and Hunt, I don't know if Hunter was part of the, the creative team back then, probably not. I'm sure he may have been dating Steph, but I don't know, because he was still technically dating China. But I'm kind of wondering how much, how soon he was dating her, because it just, come on. They got married off a of click, and um, no, I'm not, I'm not buying that. Yeah, Vince would be okay with his daughter just kind of out of nowhere starting dating this guy in a marriage not that long after. Come on, no, no. But you know, it's neither here nor there. I don't, I don't give a shit. You know, that's life. You, you they fell in love. They moved on. Okay, I'm I'm, so, I'm sorry that China passed because she was awesome. But shit happens. Triple H has turned out to be a great fucking booker. Anyway, I'm I'm getting off the point here. Sorry. Anyway, the finger poke of doom was never, ever the problem. The problem was always that stupid ass fucking, excuse me, the finger poke of doom was always the problem. The taser was never the problem. Oops. Because, just, you know, that could have been built differently. All right, let me get started on where, where I would go. I, I don't really know if this would help WCW if it still would have fucking crashed and burned. But here's what I would have done differently. Not that I know a lot about booking or anything, but fuck it. It's my damn video. Maybe I'll get some views. I'm going to tell you what I think on the subject. I can do that. I've heard people with less knowledge talk about it, so fuck it. I'm going to do that. Anyway. First off, you have the match as it goes. You know, Scott Hall shows up and he fucking tasers fucking... Cobra. Rich cell job there, there, uh, uh, Bill. And then he gets powerbombed by fucking, uh, Nash and pinned. One, two, three. Leave that. Then Nash hears later. I don't know if they have enough time afterwards, because I don't remember what it was like of a fucking setup. I didn't watch the damn pay-per-view. I saw the Nitro with the finger poking down. Anyway. Or Nash hears about these all that shop like what? How did what? No. Did what? No 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 no. We're, we're gonna fix this. Goldberg, if you want another rematch, I will give it to you tomorrow night on Raw. We're we're gonna handle this. It's not going down this way. It's gonna be winner take all. I'm keeping the belt. But I will give you your shot. I will give you a chance to be beaten by me. I'll give you your chance to try to take it back. Because this ain't the way we're doing things around here. This is WCW. This ain't fucking NWO playground anymore. Black and white attack ain't, ain't gonna take out the wolf pack. Or whatever the fuck you would say. You know, something like that. Because you would never give them the actual lines. You're just like, give me a face promo. Get the belt over. Get over. Goldberg, blah, 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 blah. All right, cut here. Get back to 